vlog. I'm running some errands today. It is Friday. All week I basically like was a homebody. I went to work and I went to my house and I went out to eat like a few times with my sister. I just stayed home most of the time, painted some pictures, um, went to Subway to work. Today I have to run errands because I've been putting them off all week. So um, I've been I need to get rid of my graduation money as in put it in my savings account. My mom said that 25% of it is for spending and then 75% is going into my savings account which I think is fair, which is very fair. So I have to go to the bank but before that I have to um, hang some of my old artwork back up at Linda Mexico Gallery, which is the gallery that I work at. I took a few pieces down last week to put them up in my graduation party as like table settings. You probably saw the vlog. But I have to put them back now, even though they're only going to be up for a week. So I have to do that. And I have to go to the bank. I might want to eat lunch at some point. I don't know. And then I have to go to my grandma's house and move some Christmas cactus outside for her because that's what she does every summer. She's too weak to do that, I guess. These people are trying to die. I can't vlog. This is stupid. But I guess my school, I'm driving past my high school. There's like buses in the background, as you can see. They had a half day today because it's their last day of school. I've been out of school for like three weeks and I'm living my best life. At some point, I would really like to get prints made of some of my old artwork so I could sell the prints. Um, I also want them so I can hang them up in my dorm room because you can't hang like frame pictures and the pictures of the ones that you want to be made into prints um, are framed and I don't want to hang just the original on the wall. So I figure if no one buys them, at least I'll have a copy and I like it enough to hang it on my wall at school because I'm a little bit of a narcissist like that. So I think that'll be fun. That's a good goal. And then I could try marketing it and see if people would buy it for like $15. Because I've had people tell me before that they'd buy it and they seem to like not be able to get past um, the success of pieces I made two years ago. So I'm gonna do that eventually. It's I don't know who to print it from, so it's a little bit problematic. Oh, you just fell. Worked tonight at Subway, and I'm really scared because there's a half day for all the schools in the area, and. They all come to Subway after school gets done. So that means that they're gonna be behind all day because they're gonna have to help people instead of doing the work that I need done so I can leave. So it might be a very late night. And as you guys saw, I got that new um, painting easel. Yes, yeah, psych, it's coming up in the next vlog. So next week you'll be seeing my new painting easel, but I'm gonna still talk about it right now. So here you go for plein air painting. So I'll probably go outside, maybe when I get home today, it's 11 o'clock, I have to be at work at five. So if I have enough time, I will. Um, if not, I'll probably do it like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe. See if I can get like three more done that I like enough to um, hang. I'm just really excited to hang up the new show and then I have like, a whole two months off of having to like worry about putting up a gallery show, which is like, I love my job. It's really fun, but it's really stressful, especially working with artists. Artists are probably the most fickle, like, most like irresponsible people. Like they'll get their paintings done because they want to sell stuff, but they have an issue with giving me like paperwork and um, like even to get paid. I'm like, do you want to get paid? Good, fill out this paperwork and then they don't. Or they don't do it correctly. It's just, there's no problem solving it feels like. 
but um, I'm hoping to find, I've already found a few good artists that I want to work with again, because we're kind of building inventory, I guess, of artists, which I think would be like, it'd be really nice to have like a set group of artists I can go to that I know will get their stuff done, because I really just need to not keep gambling on all these people. I think it's gonna be really nice. Apparently we're getting some press people to come, maybe. I made a slideshow about all the artists, but there's just so many artists. The gallery theme is the Michigan experience. This is another spoiler. So the show is already up at Lindo, actually, because this is filmed like a month ago. So the Michigan experience show is out now at Lindo. And next week's vlog will actually be me like going through the painting process and kind of giving a tour, I think, of the gallery space. So that's what I'm going to do next week, but this is just like a little precursor. We're trying to get artists from all over to kind of make pieces of what Michigan means to them, at least. Um, it's kind of generic because I wanted it to be an easy show for artists to make. Really excited for. I'm excited to see what people do. I know there's some people doing um, like Michigan-themed animals, and then there's some people doing landscapes. I'm doing a few landscapes and a few like their landscapes, but they have like people subject matter in them. I just think there'll be a good variety, especially and if we can get to like marketing it as well, especially on some press stuff. I think that'd be really good. These are what I'm hanging back up. I didn't have to vlog inside. Luckily, no one was sitting there, so I just said hi to the hostesses, and then um, I probably should have stayed and talked longer, but I didn't really want to. Love them though. Now I'm on my way to the bank, which is like I'm in Wyoming. I live in Genesis, so it's about like 15 minutes away. I feel bad for the bank because I have like a ton of cash and a ton of checks that need to be deposited into an account. I don't know how long it's gonna take them. I'm probably gonna go in there and be like, I'm so sorry. They'll probably understand. It's grad party season. They probably understand that. Um, well, I'll update you after the bank. Well, the lighting is just still bad. I want it to die. But um, I just got back from the banks. I guess they had a machine that could do it for them. So it was really fast. No one got that mad at me. Um, it actually took like maybe not even five minutes both ways. So that was like really nice. So yeah, that was fun. Now I'm on the way to my grandma's house to move her cactus. You know, my grandma and I usually like we'll talk for like a really long time, but I'm just not like feeling it today, you know. Also, subway looks so freaking busy. We're here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Hi. No? I would never. Psych! Um, I got there at like 12. It's like 1.30 now. I know I said I didn't want to talk, but I think that's how it always goes. And then I end up talking with my grandma for like forever. I let her know I'm all the drama. And she's just a really good listener. She always has been. And I think that's what I'll miss when I go to college. It's just good conversation. And I don't regret it at all. It took a while, but like... Good. But, I don't like candy, so that's even better. Yeah, so all my errands are done. I might update you later in this vlog. I don't know how I'm organizing these vlogs at all because I really just have about three different, I have like 50 clips that I have to like separate and divide into vlogs, so. Yay for me. I'm just gonna be on my way home, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, so that's like actually it for the video, but um, I haven't said this before, but like subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna be posting videos like once a week now, so you'll have something to like subscribe to, I guess. 
and that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later.